These are the first films ever taken of the Dion Quins, the world's most famous babies, Annette, Yvonne, Mary, Emily, and Cecile. This was 20 years ago. Today, there are only four. Emily is dead. One year old now, and still Dr. Defoe, their physician since birth, watched over them with loving care. Already they were wealthy, for the Ontario government had set up a trust fund for them. The years went by, and then they were three. Cameras recorded a birthday kiss. Wherever they went, whatever they did, pressmen would be there. Soon, Yvonne became their leader, Emily, the mimic of the family, Marie, the quiet one, Annette, the strongest, and Cecile, the singer. And then one day, the five sisters, quite unaffected by all the publicity, celebrated their seventh birthday. Thirteen years old now, they were growing up fast. Today, death separates the sisters who were inseparable in life, and their neighbors file past the bier of Emily Dion. Emily lies at rest in the little village where 20 years ago, she and her sisters were born. 